Hey, what's up guys? Lego Kid here, and I've been waiting all day to make this video, but today Lego has officially revealed all of the new upcoming Lego City 2023 sets. And oh my gosh, this new way for Lego City is just amazing. There are so many phenomenal and amazing sets that are so great all around. And I don't even know where to begin the list at. So you know what? Why don't we just go in order by set number? So starting off the list here, we have set number 60356 and also called the Bear Stunt Bike. Now this set will be retailing for $8 in the U.S., the set will also contain 10 pieces and along with one minifigure. So the minifigure you get here is pretty new all around. He has some new pieces and prints. So he does have a new torso print and leg printing, which looks nice. And then he also has a new print and a mold for the bear mask, which it actually looks pretty nice. So if you ever want to get another one of those pieces, then I would recommend getting this set. And I believe he does have a new face print. I don't know. But anyways, as for the stunt bike, it looks pretty nice. Um, really, all there is is just a print at the front with the um, crossbones. But anyways, um, if you're a stunt bike collector like me, then I would recommend getting this set. And then we have set number 60358 and also called the Cyber Stunt Bike. Now, this set will be retailing for $8 in the U.S., the set will also contain 13 pieces and along with one minifigure. So again, the minifigure you get is pretty new with a, some new pieces and prints as well. One piece that is new is the translucent blue visor for the helmet. And the helmet piece itself is also a new print. And he also has a new face print too, which I don't know if there are two face prints. But anyways, he does have a new face print. And then he also has a new torso print and leg printing, which looks nice. And then he has this backpack on, which I don't know what this is for. But anyways, for the stunt bike here, I like the look for it with the um, bright yellow look and also some of the printing on the sides. So again, if you're a stunt bike collector like me, then I would recommend getting this set. And then jumping ahead to the new sub theme for the police line. We have set number 60369 and also called the Mobile Police Dog Training. Now this set will be retailing for $30 in the US. The set will also contain 197 pieces and along with two minifigures. So first off for the minifigures, we have a female cop and she doesn't have any new prints or pieces. And then we have a training dummy and I actually like this minifigure with kind of like the look of the cactus minifigure we got back in, what, a few series ago. But anyways, this guy also has a new face print, and I like the idea that LEGO included this guy for the dog training set, because it would make sense. And as for the two canines you get here, we have a regular canine dog you would get in some other police station sets. And then we have a baby or a puppy canine dog, which looks so cute. That's actually a new mold right there. And as for the builds, you get this dog training van and also this trailer attachment. And as for some other side builds, you have this obstacle course for the dog and also um, this little bone and two feeding bowls for them. So yeah, this set overall is just amazing. I like the idea of what you get here. And all, all around, this set is just amazing. And I will definitely consider picking this one up. And then we have set number 60370 and also called the Police Station Chase. Now this set will be retailing for $40 in the U.S. This set will also contain 172 pieces and along with four minifigures. So this set is also a lot different from what I expected it for it to turn out. So it turns out this is a four plus set and there's really not that much going on. Um... For the minifigures, there are some new torso prints, especially for the crooks. But as for the police officers, they don't have any new prints or pieces. So yeah, all around this set is pretty basic. And again, this is a four plus set and this is meant for um, four year olds who are starting to get into collecting Lego. Um, so here we have a um, pretty simple build for the police station. And then we also have this simple build for the police car, which looks pretty trashy. So, um, I mean, I guess I would recommend getting this set, but to me, I probably wouldn't end up getting this set myself. 
And then we have send number 60371 and also called the Emergency Vehicles HQ. Now, this set will be retailing for $70 in the U.S. This set will also contain 706 pieces and along with five minifigures. So first off for the builds here, one, you have a police van, which I like the look for it. And then you have an ambulance, which would also go well with the new hospital set we got earlier this year. And then we have a fire helicopter and we've gone helicopters before in Lego City, but I do like the look for this when you get in the set. And then we have a side build, which is this apple tree that caught on fire. And then we also have this uh, dirt bike, or not dirt bike, a mountain bike that actually has a new color for the bike itself. So that's actually new. And as for the minifigures, we have a police officer with a new torso print, um, a medic with a new torso print as well. And then we have a uh, fire helicopter pilot. And then we have a civilian and also a criminal with a new face print. So the minifigure selection is pretty nice. And as for the final build, we have the main emergency vehicles HQ. So out front, there is a base plate that's meant to act as a parking lot for the two ground vehicles. And then there's also some separate op, uh, sorry, there's also some separate offices for the um, heroes. One, we have an office for the police officer. Then we also have this parking spot and also somewhat medic area for the medic. And then we also have this office on the second floor for the fire helicopter. So um, all around this set is pretty nice. I would recommend getting it and I would probably get it myself. And especially if you want to add this building to your Lego city with the new road plates. And then we have set number 60372 and also called the Police Training Academy. Now, this set will be retailing for $100 in the U.S. This set will also contain 823 pieces along with six minifigures. So, all around, this set is actually pretty amazing. And to be honest, the look for the Police HQ here looks a lot better than the police station we got earlier this year. And the minifigure, uh, sorry, the minifigure selection is also great with um, four of the students here wearing um, the same torso print and also having some of the, well, actually different face prints and also having some new helmet pieces too. And then we also have two workers, which one is, I believe, a chief. And then we also have the captain. So um, a pretty good minifigure selection. They all have new torso prints and possibly new face prints. And as for the build, we have this giant obstacle course going around the building and the look for it just looks amazing. There's also some different features with it that you could do. And there's also a horse included with a stable. So that's actually nice inclusion to the set. And then there's also this obstacle course on the side as well. And then there is a police ATV. So overall, this set is really amazing. I like everything that gets included and the builds here are just phenomenal. I really want to get this set for, you know, the minifigures, the builds, and also I kind of want to add this to my Lego city now that I see all of it. So yeah, this set idea is just really amazing. It's a brand new type of concept to Lego city. And yeah, I just like it all around. Maybe next year we'll get a fire academy. And then here we have the new way for the fire set. So first off, we have set number 60373 and also called the Fire Rescue Boat. Now this set will be retailing for $30 in the US and the set will also contain 144 pieces and along with three minifigures. So for the minifigures, you have two firefighters who work on the boat and patrol around the sea. And then we have this uh, civilian that needs to be rescued. And then as for the builds, we have this little jet pack for one of the fire officers with the use of two of those stud launchers. So that's actually a good use of the pieces. And then we have this small little um, boat for, or more like Danny for the civilian. And then as for the fire boat here, it looks pretty basic, but there are some few um, different features with it. So at the front, there is a stud launching cannon back from 2019, I believe is when this piece was first introduced. 
So yeah, I like how LEGO um, brought that piece back and put it in this set. So this set all around is pretty decent. I like the concept of it and we haven't gotten a fireboat in quite a while. And then here we have set number 60374 and also called the Fire Command Truck. Now this set will be retailing for $65 in the US. The set will also contain 502 pieces and along with three minifigures. So this set again turned out a lot better than what I expected it to be. So I thought this was going to be more of like a fire brigade sort of set, but it's just mainly a fire truck and also a few different other components and side builds. So the minifigures you get here are two firefighters. One of them is wearing a new type of had, uh, sorry, hazmat suit for the torso print and leg printing. And then there's also this uh, construction worker or electrical worker as well. And as for the different side builds, first off, you have this fire robot and also this fire drone. So those are nice builds to include. And then we also have this little hideout for the rat uh, sorry, rabbit. And then we have this electrical box that caught on fire. So as for the main build here, which is the fire truck, it looks pretty amazing. It looks very complex and it looks like it's actually ready to fight fires pretty easily. So I like the build for it and also the use of some of those um, one by six wall panels on the sides. And yeah, the look for this just looks so amazing and I would definitely recommend getting this set too. And then we have set number 60375 and also called the fire station and fire truck. Now this set will be retailing for $40 in the US. The set will also contain 153 pieces and along with three minifigures. So first off with the build of the small fire truck, it's pretty basic, but I mean, what else would you expect? This is another four plus set. So yeah, both of the, uh, sorry, both the fire station and the police station sets turned out to be a lot different from what I expected it to be. There are only four plus sets, so they're pretty basic. And then we have another firefighter, and then we have this worker for the popcorn stand. So yeah, this set is not really that good. Um, it's more of like an outdoor sort of fire station outpost build. So yeah, nothing really much to show here. It's all pretty basic and really it's meant for, you know, kids who are starting to get more into Lego. And then we have some $10 sets. One, we have set number 60382 and also called the Vet Van Rescue. Now this set will be retailing for $10 in the US. The set will also contain 58 pieces and along with two minifigures. So for the minifigures, we have two veterinarians. And as for the build here, we have this uh, rescue ambulance, which again is another pretty basic build because this is another four plus set. And then we also have a bulldog mold and then a cat mold as well as the animals that need to be rescued in the set. And then we have set number 60383 and also called the electric sports car. Now this set will be retailing for $10 in the US. The set will also contain 95 pieces and along with one minifigure. So again, another pretty basic $10 set. I do like the look for the sports car here. It looks pretty amazing and I don't know, maybe I'll get the set and add the sports car to my Lego city. And then we have set number 60384 and also called the Penguin Slushy Van. Now this set will be retailing for, um, sorry, this set will be retailing for $20 in the US. This set will also contain 194 pieces and along with two minifigures. Again, another pretty basic set, but I like the concept of it. And we've gone ice cream vans before in Lego City, so this is really nothing new. And I do like the design for the interior at the back. And I would say this is a pretty decent set to pick up. And then we have set number 60385 and also called the Construction Digger. Now this set will be retailing for uh, $20 in the US as well. The set will also contain uh, 148 pieces and along with two minifigures. So for the minifigures, there are two construction workers, you know, pretty basic. And as for the builds here, you have this side build, which is kind of like some debris put on the ground. And then really what you can do is you can um, have the loader, 
um, pick up this new uh, fancy looking build and then just put it right where the debris was originally. So I like the idea behind the set. We don't really get too many construction sets now in LEGO City. So this one definitely will go into my LEGO City if I ever pick it up. And then we have set number 60386 and also called the Recycling Truck. Now this set will be retailing for $30 in the US. The set will also contain 261 pieces and along with three minifigures. So for the minifigures, you have two um, garbage workers, and then we have one uh, good Samaritan, I believe, with a new hair piece, which I love the color here. And then we also have a new torso print for her. And as for the builds in this set, you have the recycling truck, which looks amazing. I like the use of the light blue color at the back. And also there's three recycling or garbage bins here as a side build. And then we have set number 60387 and also called the 4x4 Off-Roader Adventures. Now this set will be retailing for $30 in the US. This set will also contain 252 pieces and along with two minifigures. So both of the minifigures do have new torso prints and one of them does have a new face print as well. And as for the builds here, you have this 4x4 off-roader, which, uh, which the suspensions for the wheels look pretty high, but um, I like the look for it with the, uh, you know, monster truck here. And then there's also some clips at the back, which you can attach the two mountain bikes on. And there's also some rough terrain and also a camping tent. And then we have set number 60388 and also called the gaming tournament truck. Now this set will be retailing for $40 in the US. This set will also contain 344 pieces and along with four minifigures. So I like the idea for what you get here in the set with the roof of the truck kind of coming up to reveal this screen where both of the players are fighting. And also there are some new torso prints with the um, game gamer host and then also the two gamers over here and also some new face prints as well so yeah this set is pretty amazing i like what you get here for the build of the gaming truck and also the uh, minifigures included and yeah this set is actually pretty decent and i don't know maybe i'll consider picking this one up and then we have set number 60389 and also called the custom car garage now this set will be retailing for $60 in the US. The set will also contain 507 pieces and along with four minifigures. So I really like the concept and the idea of what you get in the set. You can basically mix and match and create your own custom cars from the bumpers and the pieces you get here. So yeah, I really like the idea of what you get in the set and there's also a wall on the side here which you can mix and match your own car design and there's also some more stuff added on in the set so yeah overall this set is just really amazing and i will definitely consider picking this one up and then we have some more ten dollar sets which one is set number 60390 and also called the park tractor now this set will be retailing for ten dollars in the us the set will also contain 86 pieces and along with one minifigure. So again, another pretty basic set, but I will probably get this one and add it along with my farming display. So yeah, uh, again, another pretty basic set, but why not get it? And then we have set number 60392 uh, and also called the police bike car chase. Now this set will be retailing for $10 in the US. The set will also contain 59 pieces and along with two minifigures. Again, another pretty basic $10 set, but why not get it? I like what you get here with the police bike and also the pretty basic and small, but um, also a pretty good looking sports car here. The minifigures also, well, actually the one crook minifigure has a new face print and also a new torso print. So again, another pretty basic $10 set. And then we have set number 60393 and also called the 4x4 Fire Truck Rescue. Now this set will be retailing for $10 in the US and the set will also contain 97 pieces and along with one minifigure. So again, I like what you get here in the set 
with the build of the um the fire truck and the build for it looks pretty nice and you can also twist and turn it like the uh, action feature for the atbs that first got revealed back in 2021 i believe but anyways um there's also this side build with a tree that caught on fire and finally here we have sand number 60394 and also called the atv and otter habitat now this set will be retailing for ten dollars in the u.s the set will also contain 90 pieces and along with one minifigure so i don't think this set was ever mentioned in the leaks or the set leaks for um the beginning of you know the summer so um i like what you get here with the build of the atb and also this little habitat for the two otters which again are new animal molds which i really like and there's also a new torso print and a new um leg printing for the park ranger so yeah this is definitely a ten dollar set i would recommend picking up and i will definitely pick this one up so that is it for all of the new Lego City 2023 sets that got released so far. There are still a few more sets that are yet to be leaked and I can't wait for those sets to be leaked and um, most of the sets that you saw on today's list are just amazing and I will most definitely make sure to pick them up. Now in another video I will describe my overall thoughts on how I feel about this new wave of Lego City overall. But anyways, that is it for today's video, and make sure to like it, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos to come on the channel, and I will see you all in the next one.